Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 29th of 2020. Well, it is titled dark sky reflections. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image uh, taken in South Australia and looking out over the lake here, you can see the trees reflected into it. You can also see all of the lights from the sky, including the Milky Way reflected in the lake down below. So they're a little blurrier, a little harder to see, but you can actually kind of pick them out, each of them out there, all a little bit stretched out in the image. Now some of the things that we see in the sky if you don't identify them easily yourself you can move the mouse over the image as I've done here and you can then see a couple of things have been annotated for you to help you identify them. Certainly the Milky Way stretching diagonally up from lower left up towards the top center is very obvious to see there we can see the uh, dark dust clouds and the bright star clouds that make up our Milky Way galaxy. Slightly up above it, we can see the bright star Antares, a super giant star many times larger than our own sun, and in fact would engulf the Earth if we were to place it at the center of the solar system in place of the sun. So to give you a sense of how large that is compared to our own sun. Now down below towards the bottom near one of the trees is the planet Jupiter. So uh, while actually a little bit brighter than Antares, it's much, much smaller than our sun, much m even more small than compared to Antares. But it looks brighter because it is so much closer to us. So it looks bright simply because it is so close. It also shines by a different method. Jupiter shines by reflected sunlight. So sunlight travels out to Jupiter and then is reflected back to the Earth. Antares makes its own light being a star itself. Now the two objects we see on the right hand side are actually two small galaxies, the large and small Magellanic clouds, two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. So they orbit around our own galaxy. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, as this was taken in Australia again, then you can actually see uh, those galaxies with the naked eye. They're actually very visible. Uh, not quite as visible as they'd see here, but they'd definitely be visible as fuzzy patches on the sky. And one of the things we have to remember when we look at beautiful images like this is that a camera can capture more detail because it can be exposed for a longer period of time. So if your eyes were looking at this, you wouldn't quite get the same image. You'd certainly see the Milky Way and you'd be able to see the Magellanic Clouds, but they wouldn't have near the detail that you're able to see here when you can use a camera that is taken uh, images over a little bit longer period of time over a number of minutes rather than just a fraction of a second that your eye collects the light. So here we get to see all that detail galaxies stars and of stars and a planet as seen in South Australia for our picture today. So that was our picture of the day for June the 29th of 2020. It was titled Dark Sky Reflection. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Pillow Star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.